Hey everyone, Crystal Fisher here. Today we're starting a new LP and it is Lion King, Simba's Mighty Adventure. Uh, I'm going to start this off very oddly, as in I have um, a lot of guest commentators in the first part, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. And Good are... morning, Master Simba. Hassan <laughs> is waiting for you. Wait, is this the <laughs> Okay. Sorry, I was, I was trying to make it. I was trying to make it out as if you were like insane. You weren't actually talking to people. Anyway, um. Okay. Okay. So this, uh, Simba's um, mighty adventure. Is that right? Yep, that's right. Uh, let me just uh, put the ball in the bowl. And, and can I just is... come off the bat and say this is a ripoff of Tarzan? Yeah. Uh, that was going to be safe. Five hundred plus. No, I'm joking. Um, yeah. The one thing I can actually talk about this game, probably the entire LP, is that this game is pretty much a ripoff of Tarzan. Just in the whole design. Um, by the way, I'm not even going to take into account at how when the games were actually made, but whatever. <laughs> I'll, I'll, um, yeah. I'll, look, I'll, look, I'll look at it up on Wikipedia in a second. But um, so apparently these um, coins all have different colors. I mean, colors are uh, scores. I can already tell the the uh, orange that the uh, what's it called the brown ones are five, blue ones are ten, the yellow ones are two, and the green ones are one. So yeah, I, think, they, I think that's it. Yeah, that, that's probably a rip off of Spyro. And um, yes, a lot of games um, after 1998 had that sort of uh, different color equals different amount of score. But I bet yeah. it came before Spyro as well. So I wouldn't say that. Yeah, it but well, I, I, I remember Lion That's King came out in 1994. I don't remember it coming out, but I know it did come out in 1994. Yeah, so. first time I liked, I quite enjoyed the animation and, and that movie. I've, in fact, I haven't seen the Lion King in a very, very long time. I watched yeah. The Lion King probably in about the mid two thousands, and yeah, I still I still really like The Lion King. Um, all right, this game is apparently made in two thousand, which is six years after the movie. Actually, wait, no, that's the is that the game? This no, that's is the, the game. second one. This is the second. It's called Lion King: oh. Simba's Mighty Adventure. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm looking it up. It, it, it was released on Game Boy Color and the PlayStation, and um, it was it's based on the original movie, even though it was made six years later. And um, Jack, can you leave me quiet? Piss <laughs> off, Jack. Okay, you cut that out. It's Okay, what were we saying? Okay, um, okay, so yeah, it was made um apparently six years after the original movie, and uh, apparently it's based on the original movie. So um, you you, uh, you oh there's okay, so the purple one's worth twenty, um but you'll we, we'll be seeing like some of the movie clips in this uh, game, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you probably see a lot of movie clips. Um, to be but we're gonna have to try and like uh, you must avoid. Let me out. Yeah, this this is yeah. this is actually kind of odd because. And here's it. I don't know. Okay. Thanks, Uncle Scar. The no, the controls seem to be. Ah, con oh, shut up. The controls seem to be really, really odd. Like they're quite awkward to move. Reminds me of Forty Wings. Oh really? Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. Right. <coughs> uh, question: Do you actually have to collect all the uh poor token things? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it might only give you an extra life. But I'm probably going to need a lot of lives in this game because it's quite hard. Um, well, it's it's not like stopping when it gets to a hundred. It's continuing after a hundred. So that that leads onto the fact that it's probably not the system where a hundred gives you a life or something. Yeah, yeah, mm. that's what it appears. I think they might be. I think actually, I skipped the first scene thingy. Apparently, I think it's actually um, I think it's like you have to get like at least like four hundred or something like that to get. A oh, that that that's right. Yeah, I remember this. Um, I think you have to collect a certain amount of them, and then it like unlocks like um the next level or something, or mini games or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I think I, actually, I think I unlock mini games. Mini games. Yeah. Which depending on if I have time or want to. Um. Oh shit! I just died. Did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. I can't see. That I can't yet. tell. Okay, so what are the enemies uh, for this this game, or at least this level? Okay, so, um, so I can't see. it appears to be rats. Um, in fact, the only real enemy is yourself with this stupid controls. Yes, I'm, oh, the enemy is I'm already whinging about the game. So, so, but do the rats actually hurt you? I don't think so. Okay, so there's no real enemies in this game then? No, oh, no there will be. I thought, the, will, bugs, I thought the, the beetle thing. The beetles appear to be appear to be enemies okay, and but where, where is your health i can't see any health neither can i i think you need to press a certain it's like button. it's like this um, it, 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 i think it only appears every time you get hit oh okay well um i haven't seen you got hit yet but oh shit um, i just fell again i think oh yeah yeah there you I are yeah, yeah i can see it now yeah how big is your health bar geez you, it only took like a bit off there oh, but now you're dead again you. just, oh, it's, it's, just, it's, it's quite hard to um control like the jumping is unlike spire is very inaccurate 
at the end of the levels here, this is something I remember as a young. Wait, how do you still have four lives? Because I've Thanks. got a heap. But use your strength wise. Cutscene. Ah, cutscene. And, you must learn the delicate and it's going to show the uh, cutscene for the movie. No, 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 I'm saying there's a talking right there. Okay, skip loading screen. There's going to be. There you go. Okay, so this is what it seems to be. This is Pride Rock. Okay, it's going to show us how many things we got. 448 coin points, graveyard unlocked. So apparently you must need to collect a certain amount each level, otherwise it'd be too easy. All right. Oh, wait, yeah. I think that's, a, that's that's the same thing with um uh, uh yeah um with um well what am I saying? It's the same thing with um uh, Tarzan. You need to like get a certain amount of uh things to uh, a certain percentage in the level to unlock the next level. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. it is. Okay. Um. Sorry about the abrupt ending. We're gonna just end it here because it's gonna be like we're gonna continue recording hit parts. So um yeah, it appears that you. It must collect Simba oh, points. Hi. Yeah, okay. You must record, get Simba points, like Simba things, gourds, and Dude. coin points. So, alright, we're going to end the part there. Thanks for commentating, guys. And I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye. Bye.